Okay. There we go. Disaster averted. We had a weird freeze up with uh, IV cam, and I have no idea what happened, but I figured it out, and I'm not even a techie. I'm not even a cat. I'm going to have this now in celebration. I'll wait for you guys to get back here with me. Can you grab the link from that and post it in the Facebook group, please? I don't know how. Can you copy the link from the top, go to our Facebook group, drop it in there? Uh, where? I can figure it out. Hmm. Oh, we got Shannon is the one who's back so far. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't want you to be able to hear that. But I am going to pull up the YouTube channel. You can change it whenever you want. So you put it as whatever you want. If you want it as Miss or MS. Okay. Let's uh, let's figure this shit out, huh? There's going to be a weird loop here in just a second, you guys. Weird loop here in just a second, you guys. And put it into... Weird loop here in just a second, you guys. And put it into... Do I write my own group? Nope. There it is. Okay. Oh, I got it now. You got it now? Yeah, just trying to... We got a couple people back so far. <clears throat> Let me see if I can't get everyone back. Well, no, uh, there's a snake in my boots. MTG unveiled. How you doing? All right, we got packs back. All right, there we go. We're getting everybody back. Well, I guess, I suppose you can't have your whole streaming uh, career, I guess is what you'd call it. That sounds really weird to say. I don't like it. It sounds like a douchebag. Uh, without having mistakes. <clears throat> so that's what we had to deal with there. Mistakes were made. We fixed them. I don't know what caused it to freeze, but I had to, like, uninstall cameras and stuff. It was ridiculous. Uh, I'm all right. Waiting to get into some Strix. My credit card was canceled due to fraud that wasn't for... Oh, dude, I've had that happen to me before um, where you, you're, um, you go to buy a, a, make a big purchase at once and they think it's fraud, so they just shut it down. I mean, if it was your bank, you'd be able to call and stop it. But um, So now I can't do any pre-release excitement. By the way, that playmat is heckin' amazing. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Five spicy mythics pause? Hell yeah. Don't say a word, man. Don't say anything. Got it. You keep that surprise around. Oh. There you go. See, I posted it. You posted it. Good stuff. All right. Um, so we got six people back in. 
I was just hoping that everybody that was in the battle would be able to stick around. I think Jason might be passing out. Um, he's, he's had a 20-hour day. Um, I'll message him real quick in case he's not in here. Okay. Mine was a charge from Microsoft, which is legit, which shouldn't have happened, and they still canceled your card and sent you a new one. Wow. All right. <laughs> it's all good, dude. That kind of shit happens. It sucks. Dude, before I got my Commander Legends Collectors packs in, dude, uh, we had... They charged me, like, I don't know, a dozen, maybe 14 times total, where they charged my account and then credited it back and then charged my account and it went pending, but then it never actually charged. And, and then eventually, after, like, three and a half hours total on the phone with them over a bunch of different calls... Uh, they ended up sending me my 11 collector's packs, so, um, I'm, st yeah, pause, I'm stoked, I want to see what you got, bud, Wednesday, I can wait, I can wait, um, yeah, we got five people back in, we got the Strixhaven back, and that shit happens, Neil, you'd be surprised how many people, I was, I swear that when, uh, originally I was part, I was subbed to Peddler, stomping ground and um um met the mana burn um from from booster therapy suggestion and then i'm like i never see these guys' videos what's going on and so i manually look them up and it's like subscribe and i'm like i already did what happened so two new subs from your personal account and packs hell yeah there you go dude um I gotta tag people in this real quick. It's ten thirty on a Friday, but so this is gonna be. It's all right. Nothing like a little bit of Facebook notification. Right. Packs with the alts. <laughs> June 20. Is that uh, Expo? Is that you? Is that a different account? Wasn't subscribed to Peddler either. Jeez. Look at you. tagged everybody in that. I don't know how that works. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but that's what I did. We're learning. All right, you guys, we got the freaking price guide pulled up like it matters because this is in the middle of fucking pre-release weekend, so everything's wrong. Know that for a fact. Uh, but yeah. I'm ready for this. Strix is so fun. It is your alt. Whoops. Oh, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Hey, Jared, what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Hi, Jared. Okay. All right. You guys, I think we're about ready for this. We got everybody back, I think. Um, Shannon, do you have Vance's phone or number? No, but I can Facebook Malia. That will work, too. Yeah, well, I mean, she, uh, or he, he's, he's hanging out, so they're probably hanging out in the same place, but we're about to get to the battle finally, so. Why is Miss Magic awake? Because I told her that everybody was giving her shit for being a baby, and then she was like, well, if the crowd wants me, then I will greet them. Back till I pass out, says Jason. All right, dude. <laughs> Let's get it going, then. Jason's about to pass out. 
Yep, it is Jared. That is Jared Tatum. Shuffle this up. Let's get it going, you guys. Appreciate you guys dealing with that technical difficulty I had there. So um, telling, Van, telling Malia, Vance's box tell Malia that Vance's box is about to happen. Or Vance's, Vance's battle is about to happen. And then she'll probably choke him out where they sit. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Is she not supposed to know? Oh, what? No. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. We're all adults here. But if he comes up missing, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, now that I've beat the living shit out of the camera, we can crack the box open, you guys. This will be the first one of these I've opened. This will be sweet. Uh, all i got to do is find my knife. Uh, where the... F hey. All right. We back, son. All right, cool. Vance is on. <laughs> I take... Vance, I tagged you in that post. Did it actually work? Uh, can somebody let me know if that shit's even doing anything? <clears throat> now, when I put directions to get here into Google Maps, was I hashtagging? Hey, guess what? The waiter at the restaurant doesn't need to know your name. I haven't pulled an all-nighter in a while. You're working, Jared? All right, for sure. We're just cracking some stricks. Uh, we just did an Ikoria battle. Uh, the time spiral hasn't filled yet. We'll probably get to that on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, welcome back, everybody. Thank you. We're going to get into this battle now. These these boxes, man, guaranteed foil and art card. Uh, according to Mr. DJ Longhair, um, you can uh, get, what did he say? Unbound Flourishing is now on the list, I guess. I didn't even know. I have no idea what's on the list, you guys. I couldn't even tell you. So... Did not do my research on this one. We got 30. Wouldn't this just be a little bit better if there was a box topper in there? I think there, I think that would be fun. It'd make battling with these a lot of, uh, better. Hey, they got these a little tighter in there this time. Oh, look, a little, little thing tells you all the, all the damn colleges. Like, we didn't already know. No one saw anything. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I don't even know what you're talking about. I do love that little uh, that little ghosty uh, Pac-Man thing you got going on there. I'm really bad at shuffling these, you guys. What the fuck? I had it going well, and then they wouldn't slide together. I'm five packs into my box, and I got a Dryad Arbor List card. What? I'll keep track of score again. Hell yeah, Neil. Neil, you can be the scorekeeper. I was going to say goalkeeper, but that sounds really... Uh, yeah. <laughs> i got to forewarn everybody that if I ever say gay, it's just something that I say as a descriptive word. It's non-discriminatory. I'm not about that, but I'm still horrible at being like, wow, dude, that's gay. So, when that slips, I mean, no offense by it, but it will slip, and someone's going to take offense to it, so, know that that's not what it means. Let's get to these damn packs. Shut your mouth. Less yakking, more cracking. Alright, we don't even know who's got what stack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two. I got, hold on, I got to read this. I'm missing some shit here that I do not understand. I read something about a baby. Baby aspirin. Two segments of baby aspirin. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's go. Got the notification for the tag post. Gotcha. For sure. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate that. Nobody cares that you woke up early. Yes, Jeff knows. You woke up early. Nobody cares. Calling it now. People are going to pull rares and mythics. If you printed directions to get here today, you're in the right place. Exactly. Or if, no, if you printed out directions. Yeah, if you printed out here. directions to get here today, you're in the right place. Lady Luck be on my side. Damn. There he is. There's DJ. There's DJ. 
DJ telling me about that unbound flourishing. Let's see if we can get one of those in here. I didn't even know that was part of the set cards. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, he's a he's a little dick. All right, I think everybody gets one more. That should leave five. But we don't know if we can count to 30 anymore. Is that five? I think that's five. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, we got five stacks of five. The high CMC in this one's going to take home three extra packs. The low CMC of this one's going to take home two extra packs. So this one's a feel good. It's high or low. That was nuts, but there was so much more in that. <laughs> There was, there is so much more in that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, release the Kraken. <laughs> Absolutely, Miss Miss. Okay, Miss Grim got to bless the prize packs. All right, all right, all right. Oh God, excuse me, you guys. Jason, lead off hitter. Good thing, cause he was about to pass out. I didn't even plan that. I shuffled those and flipped them over. We got Expo, Vance, Tony C, and. Dude, you are the caboose, McCracken. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. I almost wrote your ticket name as Caboose McCracken, but then I was like, nah, because if he doesn't get it, that just looks stupid. But I kind of willed it. USTA grade A beef. Hell yeah, dude. Prime Angus, baby. All right. Jason, pack one, dude. Good luck. What are you looking to pull, man? You've been you've been opening stuff all day. Oh my god, were you looking to pull a art a signed art card on pack one? Were you looking for that? Team Vance, huh? Alright, alright. What is this card? Make your mark. Brian Sola. Signed art card. Well, let's throw that in here. You never know what those are worth. Could be fucking five cents, could be like twenty bucks. Who knows? Okay, right out of the gate. Bam. Planes. I wish it was my box. <laughs> yeah, dude, I bet. I love that. You know, if, if I've got what I, my fill out of a set, it's always cool to see what everybody gets. But if I haven't and they pull the, the, the best things ever, I'm like, man, I should have opened that one, you know. But it's always nice for people to get stuff, when they, especially when they help you out with sponsors and whatnot. So it's a catch-22. Okay, we had one uncommon straight into an elemental expressionist so that's a four and then we got a d spark rare right out of the man all right d spark coming in man that's a okay man i swear the more i see these the more i'm gonna end up liking them so that's a two so he's got six already and i don't want to like those you guys i don't i don't they're way too weird and i don't want to like them <laughs> Jason, six on pack one with two rares. Once again, team me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we counting all, all MA or just the rares and mythics? I'm only counting them if they're rares and mythics. That's what I'm thinking. Dude, is that a mythic one? No, it's not. So you get an art card in every pack. They're really cool, though. I dig those. Oh, he gets the foil swampy. All right. What? I can't. Foil Swampy? You can't laugh at Foil Swampy? No. Why? Quandrix Cultivator. You know what my mind goes to with that, and it is not the public consumption. Uh, I think now that you've said that, everybody's going to want to know what you're no, thinking. No, There's a three. Not. That's a six. Revitalize. Emergent Sequence. Yeah, um, I don't know how you guys want to do it. I, I'm going to stop right there real quick until we... But I was thinking that it would be just like... Um, uh, you know, Time Shift, it was fine for, for Time Spiral, but I would think it would be like any other one where if you got like a foil rare, that counts, but you don't you don't count every foil, right? So since there's one of those in every pack, I think we shouldn't count them all. Um, but that's just my opinion. I would rather just... If it's a rare, hell yeah, it's counting towards your mana score. Your house, your rules. Okay. 
you guys are cool with that, I mean, I'm, I I don't know if the, I'd like to follow whatever whatever the community's got going on, but it is pre-release weekend, so there might not be established rules yet. The lesson can be rare too. So is that the one before the rare, Jeff, or is that the one right after the uh, art card, or what, like where, where's that in the pack? I really didn't look these up very well. Um, I, I kind of. Like all the other guys say, I just I kind of did want to just experience this one. I looked at the spoilers, but not like how the packs flow and whatnot. Jason, pack three, dude. Oh, dude, these art cards are cool. I tried to buy that in a playmat, and they were out. So, I don't know what that is. I think it's from a commander uh, deck. Basics. Foil basics. Okay. Start from scratch. Mulder and Karak. Oh, he gets a crackle with power. That's a nice one. They're in front behind the art land. Okay, okay. Wow, look at that crackle with power. Oh, Jesus. And he gets a day of judgment, dude. Jason, what is with you, man? You have the insanity in luck. Like, I don't even know. Body count, for real. So there's a two there. But then he hits him with the freaking Day of Judgment. Oh, dude, that is sick. Look at, okay. So I was talking all that shit about this border, but in this case, it matches extremely well with the artwork, in my opinion. It makes the border look better, because the art fits it. Dude, if that was in foil, holy shit. Wow. Rules is Jason starts at negative three. No kidding, dude. I don't even know his I don't even know his uh score right now. I'm too I'm I'm too like thrown back by how good his luck is. Like I'm not even like exaggerating. Body count is a good name for you, man. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. I don't know if he needs it, but here's pack, what, four? <laughs> All right. Ooh, this one's cool looking too. 15 for Jason at the moment. Okay, thank you, Neil. A floating granny. I'm, <laughs> if I can remember, I'm going to call her granny floats a lot. <laughs> Oh, there. It's like rare like that. There's the lesson. So he gets a two. Got academic probation. Uh, Non-land card name. Can't cast spells. The chosen name. Ooh. Uh, permanent. Wow. So this uh, this is a way to protect yourself from um, some combos. That's cool. You going to bed, babe? Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to have to come wake you up for the rest of these packs later. Yeah, okay. That one came early. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Jason hit this cool-ass land. Before Shannon leaves, i got to get her to bless these packs. Because it's hilarious. Everybody likes that. Selfless Glyph Weaver for a three. And it flips into... Oh my... Dude... Is this normal? Is this how this is going to be dead, deadly vanity? Jason wishes, wishes that this was the front of the card, but it's not. But he did hit a Doom Blade as well. Look at the art on that shit. Wow, that's sick. Ten points from Gryffindor. <laughs> oh, Floating Granny is the mythic you pulled, huh? All right. Rise of Extus and uh, Debate Duelists. Wow. All right, so... I'm just going to shuffle these up real quick. Bam. Shannon's going to... Actually, Shannon should shuffle those up and separate them into a pile like that. I shuffled them. Shannon's going to give them her shuffle blessing. And then she's going to head off to bed because she's tired. And dabbed out. <laughs> Three and two. Whenever you're done. And then on that right stack with three, which one of those has the best card in it? Bottom. Bottom? Okay. Nobody get pooped on. Nobody get pooped on. 
Okay. Good juju. <laughs> Good juju. All right. I don't know, but if you see my Milwaukee Sharpie, I, I had that earlier, and now I'm missing it, and I'm going to need that later. Anyways, back to the cards. All right. So, Jason had a 15 CMC pack with the last one. Wait a minute. Four, six, nine, eleven, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-two. Ah. Uh, I haven't been paying attention. Is do they count the flip card as both sides? You count both sides when you're doing the converted mana cost ones. I, I haven't been paying attention, you guys. Um, so I, I didn't know if that was a thing. So let me let me redo that then real quick. I want to get used to that myself. Um, I can't believe he got three a, a mythic and two rares in his stack. Holy shit! Where was that one at? So this would be an 8. And so this would be an 11 on this one card then is what you guys are saying? Okay, okay. So it would be 2, 13, 15, 19, 21, 24, 26, 30. So that would be a 30 for him. He is the boobs. <laughs> Dune Blade Art is metal as fuck, for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my bad, guys. Uh, you guys got to remember that your uh, your chat is a little bit behind for me. Not quite as bad as uh, like it was before. I, I, I have it on ultra low latency now, so it comes up a little quicker. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know we were counting both. So he's got 30. I'm on, I'm on board with that. Um, yeah, she had to bless the packs, and then I, I marked this one pack right here. Um, Shannon wants to believe that this is the hot pack. So, and that's going to be on the, uh, it'll be the last pack we open for the uh, the three extra pack winner. Um, so, okay, so Jason, K, uh, body count over here with a 30 to start things off is what I'm hearing. So, let's get that marked down. I'm not confused anymore. We can proceed. I just need a damn pen. We got this. 30 for Jason. I swear I'm not trying to take any time. <laughs> Wait, the white flip card is? He is... The white flip card is boobs? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, before I crack this open, I gotta double check this now. I don't know what's happening here. He is boobs. This guy? <laughs> I see it. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> That's good shit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't understand what we were looking at. He is, dude. He is, for sure. He is Areolas. <laughs> Expo, man. Pack one. Here we go. Oh, dude, what is this art? I need to see that. What the? F that is sick. What? Are, what card is this? Uh, Agonizing Remorse by Robbie Trevino. What? I've never seen a magic card that looks like that. That kind of looks. That looks like comic book art to me. But I digress. Okay, here we go. So, bam, this could be a rare, but it's not. Aether Helix, Golden Ratio, Quandrix Apprentice. This whole uh, this whole booster right here seems Quandrix themed. Archmage Emeritus for your first rare for a four drop. 
All right. Ooh, and he gets an agonizing remorse. Now, can any of these uh, mystical archives be foil as well in set boosters? Ooh. Cram session. Bro, really? <laughs> you down for a cram session? All right. Dominarios. I don't even know what that is, but that's a different one. I haven't seen that one printed before. All right, so you got a four. They can be? Cool. It's me when I look at my PayPal art card. <laughs> All right. Ooh, isn't that Shadrick's Silver Quill or whatever his name is? That's the dragon, right? That one's cool. The art on these is dope. Shadrick Silver Quill, exactly. Raymond Swanland. I am banging my headset into the damn, uh, it's the most popular pizza chain on Dominaria. <laughs> for sure, dude. <laughs> Thanks for calling Dominarios. Spell Satchel. Ooh. I wonder if they do a five for five. Ooh, culmination of the studies. All right, so he hits a two drop there. So Expo's sitting at six. Oh, another Doom Blade. Damn, all right. Doubling up on the Doom Blades. We're not mad at that. There's another two drop. Oh, asking you shall receive with the foils, dude. Oh, yeah, okay. I take back everything I said about the border. I was 100% right. These... These look way better in foil than they look in non-foil. These look amazing in foil. Holy shit. Dude, I love the border in foil. I'm not a fan, really, in uh, non-foil. But in foil, it almost looks like a a treasure. Or a, what, what were those called? Invocation. All that kind of stuff. It's kind of got that vibe for me. Dude. All right, watch me nerd out over this foil uncommon. <laughs> Got to start your next box here soon. For sure, DJ. I appreciate you coming by, man. This set's hella fun to open, dude. You got to get it. It's pre-release weekend. Oh, we got, a, we got a list card finally. Boros Challenger. All right. I'm going to set that. Uh, I don't. Should list cards count? Do you guys Have you guys seen that before? You guys been doing any battles with uh, any of the stuff that has list stuff? Do we count the list card? I don't know. I'm going to set that off to the side for now. But, uh, yeah, DJ, go get it, man. It's a fun set to open. I can't. I got. I got to nerd out and open some of my own stuff um, after we get done with the live stream or whatever. But yeah, it's it's fun. I, I got a body of research and a and a prismari in my first uh, in my first what uh, college pre release. The lore hold too. Um, list cards count if they are rare or mythic. Yep. Okay, that's my thought too. Want to make sure we all on the same page. Perfect, perfect. All right. So we got uh, two more for Expo. This one feels like it's going slower. I apologize for that. I'm uh, looking at the cards a little more and actually kind of experiencing it for the first time while you guys are watching me, so my bad. Dude, the art cards are cool. Who would have thought Modern Horizons was going to start that? All right. Inkling summoning. All right. Ooh, ble blood researcher looks kind of cool. That reminds me of some Mortal Kombat art. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Expo with the reflective golem and a Dragon's Guard Elite. I actually got one of these as my pre-release. I don't know if that's what everybody got. I got an extended art foil. It's pretty freaking cool. So there's a two drop for you. Ooh, and he gets the snakeskin veil. Um, I don't know what to think about that. Not my favorite piece of artwork. There's nothing wrong with it. I just couldn't decide if I liked it or not. <laughs> oh, 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 Expo. 
Wow, bro. I think that's a rare, huh? Wow. Wow, that is the second time that I've pulled this for a sponsored box. The first one was for Kona. Um, and then we just hit the scroll rack for Expo in the list slot. DJ, you weren't lying, dude. Uh, these packs are loaded. These boxes are insane, dude. Wow. The old border scroll rack for Expo. What a beautiful rack, huh? Ha, ah, yeah, pause. You get it. You get it. I'm talking about boob guy, and then you get the rack. All right. We've got a weird burning book thing. A swamp. A non-rare. Some sideways cards. That's the only thing about the art cards that throws me off just a little bit. Is that the... Uh, the art card makes you turn it sideways, kind of. So you got to flip the cards around a lot. We got Overgrown Arch. Ooh, Tempted by the Auric for a four. That's not bad. Defiant Strike. For a one drop. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to be a foil rare. Needle Thorn Drake. Ooh, Birthing Bows. Or Bows, however you want to say it. Modern Horizons, huh? All right. You did just miss me pull a scroll rack, bro. You did. And it wasn't in your stack either, unfortunately. We're about to get to your stack, though. I just got to do a little bit of recap. Because Expo hit so many damn things, I forgot what he had. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16 for Expo on the first one. So, Jason crushed it with a 30. And Expo came with a 16. So, wow. Wow. That's, uh, I mean, you're looking at high and low for sure right now. <laughs> We're going to get into Vance's first pack. Three list cards for one person? I think so. I think so. Art card, look, it was making out with a dude's head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basement boy. Yeah, for sure. Getting moldy down there. That Needle Drake really likes Simic. Needs the help. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Simic does not ever need help, and they just keep giving it help. That looks like a place where goblins live. More boobs, dude. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> so many bobs. We got a land for Vance. Oh, God. And I took both cards. Watch this be a rare... Nope, okay. <laughs> Teach you a lesson. Needlethorn. Square it up. Creative Outburst. Oh, Vance, dude. How about that on pack one, bro? Galazeth Prismari. Borderless. Elder Dragon. Wow. Check that out. I hope you're still watching, dude. Wow. Oh, God. That's my dragon, baby. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, I bet you're loving these dragons, huh, Paws? Artifacts you control. Dude. We need to keep this away from Matt. He does not need this in Brea. Okay. 24 bucks? Shit! Alright, well, let me get some new sleeves out here then, because we're going to need them. Got to bust open a pack of sleeves. Oh, crack the fresh pack of sleeves. You know what these work for? I have, like, ten of them, and they separate. I keep all my foil tokens in these things. Reseal them with the tape. That's how I keep them stored. Those are just, uh, in case you guys have, can ever get your hands on them, um, they're Titan Shield uh, sleeves. They were very reasonably priced at one point. But let's get Vance's 
insane dragon into a sleeve for him, huh? Oh my god, that thing's so sick. Alright. Galazeth Prismari. For a four. Into a whirlwind denial. Not denying you nothing. Giving you mythics with a secret lair. Uncover the best worst kept sec. Oh my god, there's art or there's ad cards for secret lair, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I don't need that. Dude. You money hungry bastards. That's irritating. Alright, whatever. Ugh. I still love your damn game. I hate what you're doing to it, though. Uh, this pack has got to be special, too, because it just wanted to peel like a fucking old pack of cigarettes. Whoa. Whoa. Get away from me with the porn comment on the video right there. Whoever just popped up with that. Because I mentioned... Oh, speaking of boobs, there he is! Bro! Hands on! Look at him! I'm turning knobs on a radio, dude. Wee -oh, wee -oh, wee -oh. Never mind. Alright. <laughs> uh, we have a anime tentacle tree. Fractal summoning. Agiar. Not gonna do this for every card. I'm just kidding. Smother those T's exactly. Uh, I need it. My name is Matt. Yeah, no, no, no. You can have it. I don't. That's fine. I just have a buddy that I have to play, and if he gets a hold of that card, it's not gonna be good news for anybody. Callus Blood Mage. All right, three drop. Adventurous Impulse. That's cool. The art on that is very uh, MTG Peddler, in my opinion. Owlin Shield Mage. And that's it for that. Study up, bud. Study up. Is that card damaged? No, I don't think so. Which card? Oh, near mind. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You were just about to mail Matt that dragon, Jared? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Why would you do that? Let him pull it on its own. Or make you trade something for it. <laughs> make him give you something good. Oh, he gets an Illuminate History. Four drop lesson. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Then if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, create a 3-2 red and white spirit token. So you get to just wheel your hand and then make a token for four? Wow. All right. Yep, peddler card. <laughs> for sure. These, uh, these boxes are fun to open. I mean, it's brand new, so it's going to be fun regardless for me, but... Uh, I, I do like, I think they're, I think they're starting to nail the set booster experience cause it's starting to feel better. Poets quill for two. I'm going to learn today. Putrefy for two. That's crazy. That's some crazy artwork. That is some like, wow. Three drop. Actually, I said two. It's three. I can read. Double rare for Vance, absolutely. Spell Satchel. More like Smell Satchel. All right, Vance. Last pack in the first stack here. Well, I shouldn't say first stack. Last st in the first round. Um, she is jumping out of a Fruit Loop. Actually, she kind of looks like Human Sonic, I'm not going to lie. If that ring was gold... She's all spiky and everything? Yeah. Fractal summoning. I've seen that a few times already. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> Tenet Pennant, Team Pennant. <laughs> Elemental Expressionist. Didn't we already get one of those earlier for Jason, I think? So that's a four drop. All right. Ooh, and he gets a double rare again. Flame Scroll Celebrant. I don't know what's up with this. And it cuts as a four because it's a flip card. That's weird. I don't understand how what 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 slot did that replace? Revel in Silence for a four. Opponents can't cast spells or activate. Lo Ugh. Yuck. Now that's a that's a sorcery on the other side, so you can just play that as the sorcery, right? Or is it an instant? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it's instant. So this you get to pick each either side, right? When you play this, it's just like a dual land, or the the modal land. You can play it for this or this. That's kind of that seems a little broken. A rare wild card. Whoa. Okay. Village Rights, that's got some dope artwork to it. I wouldn't mind seeing that on a playmat. Ooh, and he gets an Aether Helix. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad, dude. I think you did all right there. I think we could use some more Mythics in this next stack, but we got two, four, excuse me, four, eight, 11, 13, 17, 20, four. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I, I, right though dude i mean like for real though if you go back if we go back and look at that real quick i'm serious that's a little a little bit human sonic-y isn't it like the very first version of sonic before they took the movie away and redid the cgi with that weird looking like face that they had on him nah you guys aren't seeing it i see it <laughs> vance is at 24 sweet All right, man. Not bad. Not bad. I hope Tony's still in here. Human teeth Sanic is best Sanic. <laughs> nah. That's that's not true at all, dude. <laughs> hey, Tony, you're still here. Good stuff, man. I'm glad you stuck around. Sorry to make you wait so long, dude. That technical difficulty kind of threw a wrench in things for about 20 minutes. That is some wicked art, though. I don't know what that is. Let's find out real quick. I want to know. That is Torrent Sculptor by Slowamir Maniac. I definitely butchered that name. Don't hit me too hard. All right. All right, Tony. Good luck, man. Uh, right now, you got to get 16 for the low. Wait, did I go past it? I did not. Okay. You got to get 16 uh, to get the low spot. And you got to get 30 to get the high spot away from fucking body count over there. Divide by zero. Okay, okay. So we didn't have an extra rare in this one. But I'm thinking there's going to be something good in here. Wither Bloom Command. I think the commands are pretty good. These feel like uh, this sets ultimatums kind of to me. They're all, you know, um, the ultimatums, you have no choice, but this is the reverse of that, where you command it and you have any choice you want there. So that's dope. Coming in with a two for Tony. And then he gets a shock. Shocking. And an inkling summoning. All right. D dude, come on. That That's going to piss me off, though. The more I open this, I don't want to see that. I don't like that at all. Advertising... The, the worst thing for LGS is that you've ever done by not including them in it and going straight to market, you freaking assholes. And then you're trying to do it with Amazon, too. Anyways, your game's cool. All right. No rare. Archway Commons, all right. Field Trip. Soothsayer. The archives count towards it if they are uh, rare or mythic, Tony. Go blank. Ooh, Manifestation Sage. All right. So there's a four drop. 
and uh, we we just we determined that the list cards are the same way, and also uh, dual face cards count for both sides. Oh, yeah. What? All right. Well, that might go in the Hydras or the Atraxa deck. That's pretty good. So there's a four. Ooh, and then he pulled it. Tony. Hell yeah, dude. Faithless looting. That is some weird looking shit. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it looks a little better in person, though. I'll give it more credit than that. It is very strange art for a magic card, though. Um, but I don't, I don't know what this is going for. But, like, I think this is something you want to hit, if I'm not mistaken. It's so weird looking. It's so weird. Like, I did a thing. One of my thumbnails a few months ago when Call Or not months. It might, might be months now. But when Call Time came out... Um, I had Valky in there with his hood on, and I was going through eyeballs, and I picked one kind of like this. It's just, it's weird. It looks like some crap that I would, like, throw together as, like, a as a joke, but at the same time, it looks like a lot of effort and kind of cool in the background. I don't know what to think about it. It gets you talking about it, which is, I guess, what art is supposed to do. Um, it's a one drop, but it's only five bucks. Okay, foil is 50. Okay, oh, how about that, though? Abundant Harvest, it's only a one drop. But that's a foily. Foily. <laughs> it's still horrid for MTG card, even in person. Yeah, I, I, I don't... It, it still looks better than um, absolute dumpster fire dog shit. But uh, it's still not my favorite art. But, you know, art is subjective. I don't think it belongs on a magic card myself either. But the art is, is the art. So... Um, I'm still trying to get around that frame, dude. I still am not... Every time I see one of the frames in foil, it makes me hate the non-foils because I think the foiling on the Mystical Archives looks so much better. Oh, dude, I want that dragon so bad. That is metal as fuck. I want that on a playmat. I really do. I didn't even see that as an option. I went through everything Ultra Pro has for sale for Strixhaven. Not an option. hall monitor. Ooh, getting into some stuff a little early, so maybe there's a foil back there. That'd be nice. Retriever Phoenix for a four drop. Ooh, he gets a Valentine Dean of the Vein. Vampire Warlock. Exactly. When did you pay two? If you do make a pest, when it dies, you gain one life. Uh, I don't know how that would help. I mean, maybe, I don't know who's playing Black Green Vampires, though, so I don't understand where that comes in. It belongs in a museum. Yeah, yeah, dude, I, for sure. Like, if that was just an art piece in a museum, I would, uh, I'd probably like it a lot more than being on a magic card where it's, uh, it sticks out really, like, too much. Uh, but this is a five drop. And it flips into Lizette Dean of the Root. So this is a five. That looks like Rihanna. Uh, somebody hand painted a Rihanna. At first glance, that's what I see. I'm starting to wonder if that's going to happen, like uh, like it did in video games, where they started putting celebrities in video games. In like uh, Call of Duty, they had like Marshawn Lynch in there as a character. You know, like are they going to do that with Magic, where they're just going to have paintings of actual people, like celebrities, in the card, and then you're like. Wait, I recognize that face. Is that Matthew McConaughey? Like, you know, you have some dragon card, and he's like the same character that he was in uh, uh, Ring of Fire or Reign of Fire or whatever it was called. Strategic planning. Oh, Archway. I thought it was going to be a rare. I wanted it to be a rare. All right, Tony. That wasn't too bad of a pack. I thought that Faithless Looting was worth a little more than it was. Um, so I think that was the pack before, but still. I'm going to catch up on this real quick meme card yeah it is the meme card it's like someone cut out half of a person from a magazine and slapped it on a card that is true um it's staring into your soul <laughs> i don't have a soul uh it belongs in the museum that's my dean <laughs> there you go 
uh umbrella <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly dude I, I, at first glance that really looked like it, it was like very resemblant of rihanna um 11 45 pacific time i'll start i need peeps ah for sure uh, they'll probably put Cassius Mars in at some point, even though he is selling MTG products for like 30%. I know. I know, dude. Like, the guy, here's what bothers me. I like that he's a football player where, like, you know, holy shit. Like, what is this art? I think I've already seen this, but I like the art card a lot more than the actual card because it's full. That's cool. Um, Cassius Marsh, I like the guy, right? He was on the Seahawks. I liked him when he was here. Found out he played Magic. That's cool. But when he got his, like, car broken into and they took all his Magic cards, the guy's a millionaire. Why did Watsy give him, like, 15 boxes of Magic cards for free? Like, give that to somebody else. He can replace his stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. You know, people, fans wanted to send him stuff. That was cool and everything. But then he's going to turn around he's going to go put out a freaking website where they're, it's like, like, and don't get me wrong, uh, I'll, I'll I'll shop everywhere, man. I'm not I'm not super again, but like there's some places that charge too much already, and then you're gonna charge like twenty thirty percent on top of them for stuff just to like deal with a celebrity. Ugh, strict Proctor, you know, wouldn't be having it. The ruler would be out and you'd be getting smacked. That's a two drop. I'm over here ranting. Oh, I thought that was a demonic tutor, but it's not. It's D Spark, so that counts as a two drop there. That's cool. Exile target permit with mana four or greater. I like the artwork on that. See, like this one, I feel like I would have just rather had a borderless version of that art. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need that whole border there. I just want that, that card borderless with all the colors that are in the art and not the frame. But in foil, I bet you I would be telling you something otherwise, so don't listen to me. Ah, teach by example. I keep pausing on those freaking foils, hoping that they're going to be rares. All right, so that was Tony's last pack. Until we get to the other round here. He's got a 2, 4, 9, 13, 14, 15, 19, 21 for Tony C is what I got. Let me know if I'm correcto. Tony is sitting at 21. Absolutely. Killer. All right. Hopefully you're happy with that so far. I think we need to hit some more mythics, though. I don't know how you guys are feeling about it, but I think we're a little light. Because Big Daddy Hasbro is all about that money. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Oh, hey, we got another one. Oh, but this one's signed. Oh, dude, I'm telling you right now, keep this. I don't know anything about this guy's artwork or anything, but I bet you this one's going to be special eventually because it looks... His signature on that kind of makes the card dope. You know, like, that doesn't look like something you'd find in a magic card. That looks like something you'd find in a comic book as, like, an extra part that you get, you know, like a bonus. Wow. That's cool looking. I like that. All right, I'm going to throw that in to a sleeve. Tony, is it 21? Who's going to create the rival company? A sister. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd just call it stepsister, and then we could just make way more money than Hasbro. <laughs> Swamp. Inkling. Okay. All right, Neil. That was a good way to start it. Incoming Onyx. Okay, okay. Incoming Onyx. I like that. Oh, he gets the freaking first land though. All right, the Nether Blue or Necro Blossom Snarl. I like these. I think this is a good land cycle, um, and the art's cool. I don't know if they're gonna ever do if they do borderless of this, but I'd like to see it and in foil. But they'll probably save it for a secret layer. Uh, Torrent Sculptor with a something on the back, so it's gonna count for a six. Strategic planning again. Flamethrower Sonata. All right. So that's a six drop for Neil. So he gets a land, but then he saves it with that. And, oh, and then he gets another one. And it's also a flip card. Neil, uh, I think you're getting paid back for your for your being in quarantine, bro, because that's another sixer. Uh, you got a Shayla. Uh, it's not, I just don't, I didn't say that. It's, I don't know, it's Shaylee, Sheila, 
Shyla. I got Shyla Buff, all right. Um, and Ambrose, Dean of Shadow. I swear to God, if that if the dog on the other side is, or if the face on the other side of this is a dog, I'm gonna call it Shia LaWolf. Is it a dog? It's an owl. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Six drop with the foil rare and the oh my god! I didn't even see that. He gets a Ishkana Graf Widow. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's a mythic dude with Reach and Delirium. So that's a five. With a six on a six, 17 in one pack, Neil. You dropping that? Wow. All right, dude. Holy cow, Neil came to play. Cool with Hasbro as long as Disney doesn't buy Wizards. Yeah, I would. I kind of would like to see what Wizards would do on their own if they didn't have a parent company, though, again. You know what I mean? If they actually ran their own shit. Dude, I did not see the list mythic behind it. Wow. Packs, dude. Freaking Caboose McCracken. Coming in hot. Alright, pack two. Uh, if any of those are worth more than like 10 bucks, let me know so I can put them in a sleeve. Because I like to sleeve the cards that are worth more. <laughs> I don't want them getting damaged or anything. Diabetes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What were we, what, what we calling uh, uh, when a, a pack or a box is crap? It's donkey donkey lettuce. <laughs> uh, we got weird-looking worms. We got worms. That's all you need to know. We got worms. There's pills for that. Uh, we got swampy. A couple of... Oh, shit. Uh, DJ, if you're still in here... When uh when are we doing our battle, bro? When does that box get opened? And also, like, what slot? Like, do we know any of that stuff yet? I forgot entirely. I'm over here opening it, like, going all Timmy over the cards I'm pulling for you guys real quick, and I'm like, oh, dude, I got something coming from DJ too. He's doing a he's doing a box battle or like a I don't know what you're calling it, bro. Feel free to plug that real quick. Dragon's Guard Elite for a two. Ooh, eliminate for another two those do look cool the arts not the frame divide by zero uh that means nothing Ooh, and he gets a herald's horn too dude remember when this was like nine dollars i don't know what it is now but crap wow dude that's not a rare but it should be it's worth money horn is really good dude Soul Horn. Not going to finish it. Still like nine bucks. It is still like nine bucks? Okay, shit. <laughs> I didn't know. What is this nasty thing? Ugh. That's like me if I drink too much tequila. All right, we got forest into the pest summoning. What's going on, camera? Figure it out. Figure your shit out. Eureka moment. Vortex runner. Umbral juke. Uh, I have no idea what's going on in that artwork, but it still looks better than a Nissan juke. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, Venerable war singer. All right, three dropping it. Village rights. I swear we just got that. Cool artwork again, though. And ooh, uh, not what I thought it was. Introduction to annihilation. Uh, I, don't introduce me to it. Just kill me. If you're gonna annihilate me, just get it over with. Don't introduce me. I don't want to get to know it. I just want it to be over. That sounds awful. So can that the short version of that card just be torture? Oh, this is a cool looking art card too. I'm digging these. Uh, the contrasting colors with the with the colleges, much like the guilds, works really well. But we didn't have art cards and all that shit when guilds were around. So, the con like obviously this would be what Prismari I think is the red blue, is it for old heads? But that's dope looking. What card is that? I mean, minus the Conor McGregor in the background, but uh, sign in blood. 
I'm not even going to pronounce that artist's name because I could not do it justice. So, Neil, last pack before we get to the drama row. We got, oh, there's a professor. Do we still got that uh, Onyx coming? Clever Luminancer. Lumamancer, uh, two M's. Vanishing Verse. It did have the signed art card. Yeah, no, sh yeah, exactly, dude. Holy crap. Vanishing Verse for a two. Ooh, claim the firstborn. What's going on here? That's... Does that guy look full grown, though? Like, what's going on with that baby? Does that baby have, like, old man hair? No. Okay. Okay. Ew. Is people trying to touch it and stuff? What? What? There's... Of course it's a goblin. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Uh, I like it. It's good. Ooh, he gets a foily too. Foil Village Rights. That card likes to be here tonight. It's dope looking though. I like it in foil. Wow. That see that changes my whole opinion. Why is it that foiling changes the entirety of my opinion on the card frame? Dude, because in foil those those look at that sword. Shing shing. All right. <laughs> Art cards for guilds? Don't give them ideas, I know. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I'll put it in a sleeve anyways. Just because that one, apparently, I like. <laughs> okay, so we got to go back and count this ridiculousness, because he got 17 in one pack at one point. So, two, five, seven, ooh. Lost count. Two, five, seven. Twelve. Uh, this is a six, so that's an 18. This is a six, so that's a 24. You get a 24? Is that what you got? Wow. That's not as high as I thought it was going to be. So we still have Expo with 16 and Jason with 30. Dude, when you came out swinging with a 17, I thought you were going to just run away with it. What is going on? All right. I know Jason's probably long since passed out. He's gone, Mimi's. <sighs> me, 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 me. All right. Uh, good luck anyway, Jason. Ooh, look at that nasty little thing. Blech. That's gross. All right. That is that pest uh, general, isn't it? Planes. What's that called? It's going to bug me if I don't look. Blex. Vesting, vexing pest. Blex. All right. We got planes. Lots of 2-3 mana spells to take advantage of Magecraft. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we didn't skip the lesson. was not a rare. Okay, cool. Explosive welcome. Mentor's Guidance. I'm leaning off the camera on you guys. My bad. Flunk. Ooh, he gets a Movinda. Dude, what is with body count and his insane luck? Tony, dude. Can we, like... like it's on YouTube. He's going to find out. But, like, I wish we could hide this from him and just tell him that he did so bad that he doesn't even want to know about it. Like, what? Dude, I hate it. <laughs> I know, bro, you said that you guys play together, so I know this has got to be like when my friends watch me open cards, and then they open stuff right behind me at the same card store and just get absolute boofed on. Dude, I know, right? He should start at negative three. He should start at, like, neg he just gets his packs. How about that? Mavinda, Student's Advocate. This is a good-ass card, too. Holy crap. I'm glad we got another Mythic, though. I don't know about his luck actually drafting. Oh, okay. It's so so he he's the guy who's lucky as fuck because you guys don't even know you guys don't even know i'm about to freak my f pants off dude okay the he better have the worst draft luck i've ever seen because you're not going to believe this mila crafty companion into luca 
So that's what a, a fucking nine drop mythic back to back mythic. Are you kidding me? Dude, I don't he needs to go buy a lotto ticket or stay inside. He's having so much good luck, dude. I like I, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He dude, he's across multiple channels pulling this stuff, dude. Like this is I mean, he already had a porterhouse, and now he's adding this. What? What do you? What is this? Like a? Uh, a is he? Is he up to like a wagyu Chateaubriand steak? Like I don't stump. I can't even afford to eat. Like this guy is, his luck is insane, dude. I, I want to flip this card. I want to flip this card. It's a Luca Wayward Bonder. I haven't even seen this in person. That's cool looking. First flip Planeswalker, right? Dude, insane, man. I hope he wakes up in the morning and just, like, has to change his pants. <laughs> Insanity, dude. Uh, Jason sold his soda, Gavin Verhey. Miss Grimm with the pack blessings. Dude, for real, though. She did. She did. She gave everybody the pack blessings and said, may no one get screwed. So, I, I, think, I think everybody just got Jason, you know, but, like... Holy crap. I, I can't even talk, dude. This is insane. And then he gets a Belfry spirit. It's it's, a, it's just a... What, a... Rivals? Is that what that's from? I don't know. Ixalan. I can't tell. What's that? Set, I don't know what that set emblem is. 2019. This set actually might be from Explorers of Ixalan. I don't even know. Belfry spirit, though. Okay, so... I gotta count that, even though it was one freaking pack, dude. Uh, nine... 12. 12 he gets. So he's up to 42. Holy crap, man. What's well, $3, pause? Oh, Jesus. Stay up there. What are you doing? You're killing me. Nobody cares about your stupid sponsoring questions. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Dude, that guy's luck, man. I think I got Expo over here, pulling the scroll rack. We're freaking out about Jason's pulls. We forgot we pulled a list card scroll rack, and then Pax hit a list card mythic. Like, Vance got the... Dude, uh, maybe it's just the boxes, because I'm starting to think, now that I'm naming everything off... Wow. The Belfry is $3? Oh, okay. Okay. From the Orzov Commander Guild Pack. Oh, okay. Okay. I just didn't recognize the uh, emblem on the side there. Ooh, this is pretty cool art. This is what, uh, what do they call them? Uh, um, a Leonin, right? I think. It looks like uh, Professor Snape if he was a cat. Just saying. Expo, good luck, dude. Uh, the way this box is going, you're not going to need it. I think you are trying to... You're hoping that you hit, what? If you stay under five in this pack, you got this locked down for the low spot, dude. Mage Hunter. Yeah, no, we're not throwing a foil Demonic Tutor in for him. Because, like, I don't know if Tony can handle the gloating. <laughs> he said, Why? <laughs> You blame Shannon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm getting some of you guys' uh, some of you guys' chat stuff pops up a little late, but just pull me a land, we can still be friends. Oh, it's like that. Well, I guess we want to be friends then, huh? Frostboil Snarl, Frostboil Snarl. That's a cool land right there. I would die. <laughs> oh, what's that though? What's that gonna be? So he gets the frost bomb. <laughs> yeah, you did, dude. You did. And then you got a counter spell. That's dope. All right. So there's a two for the counter spell. Uh, see now that artwork. That's leaving something to be desired. That. I feel like that won the sixth grade art contest. No offense to, uh, Elena Richards. Um, I just I'm not seeing it. I don't know what you're going for. I wish you would have filled out the rest of the feathers on that hand turkey. But, uh, yeah. Two more for Expo. 
So he comes in with an 18, which means he's cinching up the low end. All right, Vance. No pressure, dude, but you need an 18 to tie Jason, a.k.a. body count. High five. Yeah, exactly. Got you. Except, for, except for you're high fiving yourself, so it's a good thing it's on the card because that's the only one that's going to give you a high five when you counterspell at the table. <laughs> Basement boy. Yeah, exactly, dude. Oh, that's cool looking. See, like, this This is cool looking. I like that. But is that a Mystical Archive art or what? Because uh, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that yet. But, like, see, that would be way better if the Mystical Archive card, if that's, if that's what this is. If it just had this and the art, you know, kind of like the Japanese alternate arts, maybe it'd be a little cooler. All right. Vance, bro. You need some help. Counterspell is $7 low. Wow. It's super highly played. Ah, Mercurial Transformation. Sounds like an After the Burial song. Zimone, Quandrix Prodigy. Land card. Oh, oh, come on, focus. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Oh, no, dude. Come on. Don't show this to Zach. Vance, you can't have this in your Omnath deck either. What are they doing, dude? Oh, dude. This is built for Omnath. Shut up. You didn't see it, and you don't own it. This isn't your pack. Devi Decisive Denial. Oh, bro. Hey, now, Kazmina Enigma Sage. Other Planeswalkers you control, other Planeswalker you control has, each other Planeswalker you control has the loyalty abilities of Kazmina Enigma Sage. See, I'm getting the uh, the text on the, on the cards late too, you guys. It's not just your chat. So, I'm just saying. Uh, scry one for plus two. Create oh fractal creatures that might be going in the Atraxa deck. Instant sorcery card shares a color with this exile and then cast it. Oh yeah, hello Atraxa super friends. Thanks for playing. Wow, dude. From the Buddhist mom, Paul moving kung fu hustle. My name is Betty. <laughs> That is so dope. That's a good looking card too. I'm not gonna lie. I I like the way that they did that. Looks really good. So three for Vance there. Oh, then he gets the Crows and Grip for another three. That's kind of cool. I like it. And then he gets a Spined Carrick. So we got six for Vance, bringing him up to thirty. Uh, so what do you guys think? We're about two-thirds of the way done with this. Uh, well, two-thirds of the way. We're probably like 80% done with this now. But I'm thinking that these, uh, these set boxes are pretty dope. I like them. We're not done with the battle, but it doesn't seem like anybody's way out of control. You know what I mean? Like, uh, except for body count over there. But he doesn't count. His whatever has him in luck form, It's it's got to run out eventually. He doesn't count. That he's He's a... An, an anomaly. Uh, there's the pack art for the collectors. That's cool. Uh, I think it's a pretty good set, though. Seems like it'll do okay for battles. I really wish there was a box topper in here. You could have taken the Mystical Archives and made them box toppers, and that would have solved everybody's issue with them being in the packs. Um, forest. Plum the Forbidden. Mage Hunter. Ooh, Hall of Oracles. All right. I haven't seen this yet. Add one mana of any color. Pay one tap. Oh, okay. Colorless. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. Activate as a sorcery and only if you cast one. Okay. That's all good. That might have a place in, like, uh, Animar. Potentially a Traxa. Potentially the uh, Zaxara deck. All right. Ooh, and he gets Tendrils of Agony. All right, Tony. Not doing bad here. Tendrils of Agony. That's a good one, huh? 
four drop. We got one more foily here. Is it going to be anything good? Oh, it's not. It's an uncommon. Okay. So Tony adds a four. With a humiliate right there. That's That was way to rub it in. Love that art, though. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I do love the arts on these. I, I Like, you know, and they're, they know that we like the art. So they're trying to give us as much art packed into one set as they can. That's what it seems like. And I'm not going to fault them for that because art is half of Magic the Gathering, really. Um, people want to play with cards that they enjoy the art on. And I know people who will specifically avoid a card and buy a proxy after they buy the original card just so they don't have to look at it in their deck. So 25 for Tony total. But he got some good stuff in there, man. Uh, we are going to go over the hits after we're done with everything, too. Um, so, Pax, you got 24. You need another 18 as well, so you need a bunch of help. But in that respect, you got some. You got a Mythic List card, and, you know, you're doing all right. Oh, look at you. That's cool. Well, that's the one we just pulled four packs, I think. So now he has the art card to match it. That's cool. The foil is your common this time. Your, or your common. <laughs> your basic. Ah, nope. Owls ahoy. Yeah, no, for real, dude. There's a lot of owls. Tons of hedge wigs in this damn set. Hall monitor. Off the screen a shitload. My bad, dude. <laughs> I'm going to stop for a second because my... There it goes. Okay. Hall monitor. That looks like something... Do you guys ever... Are any of you old enough to have seen dinosaurs? Like the uh, the old sitcom? They were like the Simpsons, but all dinosaurs with like the not the mama baby. And you like would be, always be like hitting people to frying pan or whatever. That's what that art reminds me of. Exactly. You guys know. You guys know. All right. <laughs> Keep hoping for a Cranko art update. Oh, you don't like the way that he looks uh, currently? Oh, bro. Neil, dude. What did you do? Look at this. Tanazir Quandrix, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. That is cool. So we hit, what, two Elder Dragons in, the, in this one set box already? Damn. Ah, man. That is cool. My, my Brawl Commander for life. All right, for sure. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, double the number of 1-1 counters on target creature you control. All right, I already like that. Flying Trample for 4-4, four, four, for 5, with that ability is good. But then also, whenever he attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become equal to Tanzania Quandrix's power and toughness until end of turn. Oh, man. So if you could just give him the counters, give him a counter, and then double it up. Oh, uh, dude, yeah, he's got, he's got broken written all over him. I see it. I see it unveiled. I get it. He's a good card. Right into the Kian, Dean of Substance. So that was a five. This is, uh, what, a seven? So we're at 12 for, for packs. We're already at 12. Um, and one ones are easily 10 tens or more. Yeah, dude, I can see it. Uh, she looks like one of my friend's moms from when I was a kid, like the super, super strict one. Like you don't want to fuck around or she's going to definitely hit you. Your parents told her she could whip you with a ruler, and she's gonna. You know what I mean? Look, I mean, it's probably not gonna be a ruler. It'll probably be, like, a vine, but still. And she flips into... And she's an elf. God, dude, like, they needed any more help. Uh, oh, my God. Ibrahim, Dean of Theory. All right. Another owl. Bird wizard. Wow. These cards are good. A little bit of power creep, I'm noticing, though, when I'm reading through these and the dual faces. Oh, Cultivate. All right. Uh, this guy is a lighter away from smoking that sickle that he has in his hand because it looks like a bong, but that's fine. Uh, and he's, like, trying to pluck that little nug right off the plant there. That's I just that's what I see. I can't not see it. And then 
Oh, Elemental Masterpiece. All right. Yeah, the pinks and purples on that look great. Wow. All right, dude. So you added 12. You didn't hit 18, but I think I think that last pack was pretty damn good, dude. So I think you adding 12 right there puts you at 36, yeah? Thirty six with some happiness right there. Tanzanir. Alright. Tanazir. I keep saying Tanzanir. It's Tanazir. Alright. So it looks like the upper echelon's gonna be Jason. Body count taking it when he's not even here. He gets he even gets to win when he's sleeping. Could you guys imagine that? Can you imagine be, being so lucky that you're winning while you're asleep? Come on. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Jason, man. You're killing it, dude. I really would though. I would go buy a. Uh, I would go buy a lottery ticket. Just saying. Um, yeah. So let's get into the lower end here. Expo taking it with an 18 on the low end. Expo, I got two packs for you, dude. Congrats. Uh, I don't think anybody got hosed, man. This seems like it was pretty pretty balanced. Nice little set box. Uh, that's some cool artwork. There's so many artworks that would make great play mats. This set box is unreal. Yeah, dude, right? Yeah, dude, exactly. Yeah, ex Jason, just buy us all one lottery ticket. I don't care if it's a, a 50 cent or if they even make those. Uh, just everybody get one. There's only 12 of us. It costs you six bucks, and we could all be rich. <laughs> all right, introduction to Annihilation. We're just going to get right to the rares here. Ooh, okay. Culling Ritual. That's cool. Thrill of possibility. It's thrilling. And an excavated wall. All right. Yeah, so, like, I'm noticing with these ones, uh, you'll know if you if your rares got a chance at being something good, it'll be not the basic in the front, which is cool to know. Um, I'm not noticing a shitload of set cards or, or list cards. We did get a, a mythic one, though, which was dope. Um, ooh, where are you? Okay, that looks like I can't remember the game, but it really do, it looks like uh, was it a fighting game where you just you spin your I feel like it might have been Soul Caliber. You just do a front flip with your sword out. That's what that reminds me of. Hella. All right. Big hits. We would be rich and we can still do battles. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. I don't give it. Oh, confront the past for an extra rare right there. Speaking of Lily right there. Oh, dude. Now there's a little flavor, huh? Look at herself in the... Uh, dude, see, again, though. Like, that's cool. And I'm, like, looking at it. I'm like, oh, man, the flavor on that's really good. But is it, though? Is it, though? Is it really good? Or is it just copied from Harry Potter with the mirror thing, dude? Like, in, or like the you know? Ah, ah. Uh, I do like it, though. I still like it. A little flavor text too. Why Gideon of all people? Why save me? I don't know. Cause you look like you cared in the War of the Spark thing. That's why they saved you because you I mean, you made it look like you cared. <laughs> okay, okay. I seen something. I seen something. What are we doing here? All right, baleful mastery. Oh, not what I thought it was. Totally not what I thought it was. I thought that was a natural order. Regrowth is still a rare, though, so it's cool. Oh! Gets the foil frost boil snarl. So, uh, that's a set. Like, dude, have you guys noticed a pattern tonight? Uh, you pulled the non foil of this, I think, too, and told me that I had to pull it so that you could get this low spot. Because you already knew that you were going to get a foily version. Ooh, math whizzes over at Quandrix. <laughs> you guys can do my taxes next year then. All right. That was cool. That was an awesome little bonus pack there. Let's see what freaking body count hits. Ooh. 
Uh, that looks like a wicked fart. I'm not going to lie. He's just jumping away from a wicked fart. <laughs> Swamp. Expanded anatomy. Professor's warning. Not going to do this. We're not going to do this. Wither Bloom Apprentice. Bookworm. Oh, it's literally a worm. Bookworm. All right. And bam. Elite Spellbinder. Uh, maybe he's an elite spellbinder. That is not an elite name. That seems like a really boring name. Into Inquisition of Kozlik. Dude, the guy just keeps hitting it. Are you kidding me? That art is wicked, though. I like that. I didn't even notice the chick in the middle at first. That is cool. Inquisition? Yeah. Or are you talk about the Spellbinder packs? And then he gets... Barry in the books. Winchester draft. Whoa. Watsy? Watsy's Winchester draft? All right. Okay. No problem, dude. Thanks for filling in the slot, Expo. I'm super glad that you guys got some some good hits, man. This was fun tonight. I'm still having a good time. Uh, batteries are running just a little low, for sure. Uh, as far as me. Um, I've been staying up late at night and trying to get stuff together and whatnot. And I got to work hella early in the morning. But, uh, you know, it's pre-release weekend and we're having a good time. Oh, dude, this dude, you man. Oh, literally, dude. freaking my fucking pants off at this guy galazeth prismari jason can not lose dude it's legendary at this point what in the hell and then he gets a plarg another double rare pack did he need more mythics no i don't think he did don't even don't be a oh my god dude this guy this guy can't win. Oh my god. This guy can't win. He has to dominate. He just... What in the fuck, dude? You guys, Jason L. Jason, what in the hell? This this is going to be a vid. Um, and we'll have to timestamp it for the box openings. I, Dude, delete the video. Keep the cards. This box is has been insane. It continues to be insane. Uh, Shannon Mark. Oh my god! And then he gets a patron wizard rare at the end. I don't know if that's worth anything, but what the? F Holy crap, dude! And I thought your foil freaking land was good, Expo. The Teferi's protection though, bro. Wow, I should I do like I am so down to do battles for a video because that lets me um, I can do them quicker and I don't read chat and all that stuff. But I just didn't know if you guys would be down for that. But I if, if you guys want to do a video at any point, I will I will throw that up in the uh, in the Facebook group and we can make it for a video. I'll just let you guys know ahead of time like Matt does, because I wish this would have been a video, man. Nobody would have believed this box. It's out of hand. Like, uh, Shannon called that the that this was gonna be the pack, but I think she mislabeled it because that last pack was nutty. It was nuttier than squirrel shit. All right. He has one more pack. He has one more. <laughs> uh, we'll just refund Jason. Jason doesn't need to know. <laughs> Going forward, no one battle with him. Only way to beat his luck is by him not battling. Yeah, but then he'll just have the whole box, and it'll just be some god box where everything is mythic. You know what I mean? He'll just be like, whatever, nobody wants to battle me. I'll just pick up the whole box. And then it'll be the best box you've ever seen opened on YouTube, because that's, that's the kind of luck that Jason's running with, dude. It's insane. It's fucking insane. I'm glad we were all here for it. This, one's, this feels like a heavy pack, too. So he starts with Accomplished Alchemist. That's a rare. 
you know the one behind it's going to be a rare too. Nope. Okay. Cultivate. Cultivate, but we also have a foil back here that can be anything. Uh, I don't know what it is. Just a common. Okay. Okay. Just a common. My God, though. No list card. Yeah, dude, the luck on that. Let's, uh... I'm gonna put this right here. Let's take a look. I got Jason's box. Already has his name on it because he got... He won last week, too. And I had to give him a bigger box because he had too many fucking cards. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. It's fun watching Jason ball out every battle. Yeah, dude, it is. It is. I'm stoked that you guys... You guys all got some pretty good-ass hits, dude. Like, uh, it took me a while to open that box because I'm experiencing it and having a good time. But uh, if I, when I go through this and show you guys all the hits, uh, this was a fucking beast of a box. Okay. So Jason started it out with... Uh, a signed art card, and we thought that was cool. But then he mowed through, and this is what he ended up pulling. Teferi's Protection, Patron Wizard, Plarg, Galazeth Prismari, Inquisition of Kozilek, Elite Spellbinder, Mila Crafty Companion, Mav into, into Luka. It's a flip into Luka, so that's two Mythics already. Mavinda Student's Advocate, three Mythics already. He gets a land, too. He gets the academic probation. He gets a day of judgment for the fourth mythic. Crackle with power for his fifth mythic. I mean, what? How are you going to stop this guy? Take it easy, Bruce. Appreciate you sticking around, man. Um, yeah, dude. It's been fun. We'll be back on Sunday live, too. Uh, I don't know what we'll open. I'll throw it in the Facebook group. I can go get more of these, so maybe we'll do some more set boxes of... Uh, Strixhaven, holy cow, I almost fell asleep while I was talking on that one. Um, yeah, man. Have a good night, dude. Uh, fun watching Jason pull out every battle, not when we are in the battle. Yeah, dude, I mean, I'm, I'm still down. I want to win every battle, too. You know, that's what you get into them for. But at the same time, dude, um, I feel like I know all you guys enough to feel uh, being in the groups together and whatnot. That, you know, I, I feel good. I'm glad you guys are hitting stuff. I don't want everybody to get bald. Sorry, my throat was getting a little uh, dry there. Um, so I think we have Expo has his own box already. Yes, he does. So let's get that going. I mean, Expo, you hit a fiend artist and stuff too. So I mean, it's not that bad, right? <laughs> uh, and you got a couple foil ex or foil mythical archives. Let's see what your big hits were, though. I said mythical, but they're mystical. Um, we need to put this in a sleeve for sure. It was fun having the boys in the last TSR battle. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I got my ass handed to me, but it was still fun. I had a good time. Frostboil, Snarl. That's a good one, dude. Goes in a sleeve. Regrowth. Baleful Mastery. Confront the past, culling ritual, counterspell, frost boil again, tempted, scroll rack, dragon guard elite, doom blade, culmination of studies, archmage emeritus. Yeah, dude. Uh, these things are pretty good. These boxes are pretty good. What did you hit there? Was there any? Was there any expedi or any mythics in there? Because we already he already hit five, right? So I'm I'm counting scroll rack as a mythic. So that's gonna we're gonna say that's six. Take it easy, Tony. You're a trooper, man. It's got to be like 3 a.m. over there, bro. You have a good one. Appreciate you sticking around, doing the battle. Get these sent off to you. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is for sure. I know it's late. <laughs> Wow, though. What a box, huh? Vance, the tower continues. 
Uh, I swear, dude, by the time I'm done with your cards, we're going to be able to fucking charge people rent and live in those in that tower. It's getting bigger constantly. What even was this box? Um, this was this was what happens to me on pre-release weekend. If this was my box, it would have been the same. I usually have insane luck on pre-release weekend or my first box of something. I'll just I'll just get awesome hits and then I just get pooped on for a while after that. I don't think I hit a mythic. Yeah, I mean scroll racks a mythic, dude, for sure. Uh, okay, so Vance got Crows and Grip, the dope Casmina. So that's mythic number seven. Uh, Flame Scroll, Elemental, Putrefy, Poet's Quill, Illuminate History, Callous Bludgemane. Eighth Mythic right here with Galazeth Prismari. So, I mean, it's getting out of hand on the Mythic count already. We still got two guys to go. So, wow. Good stuff. Tony had his box here. I'm going to buzz through this. I think, does Tony need his own, a new box? I believe he does, because I think he was only in this one. Like your hits for sure? Yeah, dude, it was pretty good. Yeah, you got a couple hits for sure, Vance. It was definitely more than just hit. Between Prismari and that uh, that Kazmina. And I'm sure this isn't the rest of what you're going to have for your boxes. Now that you've seen this, I'm sure you're going to want a whole set box too. You know I got more coming, so. And I can go get more of these tomorrow as well, so. We may be doing that. We'll see. This is a fun stream, you guys. What a blast. A little hectic at the beginning, though, you know? The, had our first technical difficulty with the screen freezing and whatnot. I mean, it's not the first one. I had one the last time, too. It was just last time it was an update. That was all. All right, so Tony had Tendrils of Agony, Hall of Oracles, D Spark, Valentine. Retriever Phoenix, Abundant Harvest. He hit the meme card. Manifestation Sage and Wither Bloom Command. Tony didn't hit a mythic. That sucks. But he did hit some good stuff. I mean, the meme card is. You gotta hit the meme card. I'm putting it into a thing here because I feel like eventually, just because of the divisiveness of that card, uh, it might end up being worth money just because of the art, you know? So, we'll keep it protected. Of course, Vance likes his two full art mythics. I know, right? I know. I didn't even think about that. Except for uh, I think I think Prismari is just extended art, isn't it? Or is it full art? I could be wrong. Might be full art. Okay. It's the new stone throwing devil in twenty years. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. And then Neil hit that too. Let's get that going. See if I can't find Neil's box here. So no he's got one. Hey, there it is. Alright, so Let's go over what Neil cracked, because Neil had stuff, too. We are already eight Mythics for this box, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it was full art, not extended? Okay, okay. So Neil hit this dope card. I don't even know what that is. It just reminds me of, like, an old-school comic. I love it. It's cool. Uh, and he hit Kian, or Kyane. I don't know. How, I, I think it's Kian. That's what I'd go with. He hit a Tanzanir for Mythic number nine in this set box. Dragon Guard. Mythic number 10 with the Ishkana Graph Widow. And he hit the Snarl, too. Dude, this was a freaking good box, dude. Holy crap. 10 Mythic set box. 
Wow. GG's Expo. We'll see ya. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be cracking this. Putting out videos, too. Can't wait, man. Continue the luck. Have a good night, man. Super good, dude. This box was... I wonder if this is how they all are. Or if we just got, like, absolutely lucky. Um, all right. Good stuff. Well, uh, I think that's probably about going to do it. Um, a little tidbit of information here. It's now midnight, so the next two days I am on call. Uh, once every five weeks I'm on call for work. So um, uh, Sunday's live stream, we're going to try to do it late, or, you know, 6 o'clock. But there is a possibility that I may, be, I may get a call in the middle of it. And if that happens, um, it'll have to be like, you know, finish it out and then uh, shut it down. Damn it, Expo. All right, man. <laughs> That's going to be a fucking thing with me forever. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm on call technically. I would keep streaming and open my stuff. But uh, since I'm on call, I'm going to let it go and we'll close it out for the night. I'll probably open my own set box here tonight or tomorrow. Or well, not tonight. Tonight being Saturday or uh, or Sunday before the live stream. I still got a few pre-release kits to do. But uh, that's the thing. Facebook group page is uh, Grim Tutelage MTG. If you guys want to get in on these battles, if you're watching later after we streamed it, uh, link's also in the description. All you guys who sponsored with me tonight, I really appreciate it. That was fun. We'll be back on Sunday, two days, and we'll go at it again. Um, did somebody say Modern Horizons Battle? Yeah, we might have a box of that. You guys take it easy. Have a good one.